Well, here's a disturbing fact. Every year, seven out of every 10 deaths in the United States are caused by chronic diseases like cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. Sadly, these diseases could largely have been prevented. That's why it's so important to know about and practice preventive health. Rather than taking action after you've already become sick, preventive health is all about creating healthy habits so you don't get sick in the first place. Good preventive health means seeing your doctor for regular checkups or wellness visits. But it goes beyond doctor's appointments. There are things you can do on your own every day to stay healthy and reduce your risk for disease. Here are five suggestions to help you stay healthy for the long haul. First, don't use tobacco. Tobacco is the number one cause of preventable death. In fact, nearly a half million people die from tobacco-related causes every year. And that's just in the United States. Two, maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight can have a serious impact on your health, including heart disease, stroke, diabetes, arthritis, and some cancers. Number three, get moving. Regular exercise helps improve your overall health and reduces your risk for problems down the road. Now, you don't have to run marathons or become a gym rat. Instead, experts recommend just spending a total of two hours and 30 minutes a week doing something that raises your heartbeat, like brisk walking. Now, that can be as simple as walking for just 10 minutes, three times a day, five days a week. Number four, eat and drink healthy. Choose fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and low-fat dairy products. Include healthy proteins in your diet, like lean meat, fish, and poultry. And by the way, beans, nuts, and eggs are also high in protein. It's especially important to avoid sugary drinks. They're just a bottle full of calories with no real nutrition to speak of. And finally, number five, if you drink alcohol, use moderation. That means no more than two drinks per day for men and no more than one drink per day for women. Sorry, ladies. I'm clinical specialist Michael Detner, and I'll see you next time.